Let's start with the it's that bad hashtag since confessions and therapy brought it up. I want to say, Austin, that's your hashtag, right? That's your tagline. Yes. Right. All right. Yeah. If you want to go in details, just like what, where did it come from and what is that bad? What does this mean? Uh, well, I first heard it on Fox News and they were describing the political climate we're in now. And I heard him say it's that bad when he was talking about the president. I was like, that's really good. I'm going to use that one again. And uh, it perfectly describes what we have right here in the United States. It's that bad. What, what exactly is that bad? Well, just the, it, the entire country is a circus right now when it comes to dating. It's pretty much mm -hmm. just, uh, to me, if you ask me, it's quite useless once you get exposed to dating overseas. So you say dating in the United States is quite useless. Yeah, it's, 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 more, it's more stress than it is peace. Yeah. Going so going more details, like what's stressful about it? It's a validation fest for women. Uh, it's everybody's an expert video game player. It's, mm -hmm. it's anything that I can I can elaborate on any point that you want to give me that's bad. Mm -hmm. And for the other guys on the panel, would you say that's your um, experience too? Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, I'm the type of person where. I don't care what the environment is, I'm gonna get mine. You know what I mean? When it's slow at work, I'm gonna be one of the few people that's figuring out how to still get money. When it's mm -hmm. difficult to talk to the women, I'm gonna be one of the few people that's still gonna pull the, the attractive women that I'm interested in. So for me personally, I'm gonna find a way regardless to hurdle. But with that being said, I'm still very aware of the difficulty for what we could call the average guy. And to be honest with you, the average guy just is not, he doesn't have a shot in this um, in this market. Like it's impossible. He can't compete with social media. I mean, he can't compete with the sugar daddies. Uh, he can't compete with feminism. He can't compete with the, um, the bad influence friends. So it's just like men are outnumbered as far as the influence on women right now. The, the thing that influ influences women the least right now is guys. Like our say so means nothing to them. So um, I support, Austin and, and his suggestion to guys to just get out of here. Cause I, to be honest with you, I've been saying it for two decades now. So I'm not, I'm not trying to be arrogant, but I'm 40 years old. I've been saying this since I was 20 because fortunately I traveled my entire life. So this is not new to me that the experiences with, um, with not only women, but just friendship, just the relationships in general tend to be better outside of the U S in my opinion. But okay. So can't one say then it's you men need to um, step your game up. You men are attracting women who just don't, um, you guys aren't assertive enough. Um, so you're, you're not attracting women who, who you can lead. You guys aren't good leaders. Grover, you want to get this one or? Your music. Grover, okay. Yeah, I would actually absolutely love it because I'm probably one of the only guys on a panel who's married uh, to somebody currently. So I'll say that it's not so much that we can't step our game up to lead, but you can't, you know, like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And I'm not calling women horses. But what I'm saying is that if you step up and you're doing everything you should do to lead and your lead isn't taken, then the frustration ensues. And also, I don't think any man wants to bang his head against the wall in the world, go into the world and fight all the way to get home. And then we get home and have another fight. I don't. I, I. I can't imagine anybody wanting to do that. And these. These are not the things that my my grandparents who were married for over sixty years, and my you know that I seen in my aunt. My uncles were married forty nine years, and even my even my parents. They didn't go through that type of war. And so I really understand why a gentleman like Mr. Holliman uh, is advocating how he's get his passport. I, hey, I had my passport in the late eighties. I first place I went, went was in nineteen ninety two, and I was gone for a whole summer in Japan. I understand because not only is there an enhancement of a different world, but uh, what you find out there is that people take your lead because they recognize the qualities instantly. And it's up to you to, um, I mean, I, sometimes I, I guess other gentlemen could say, sometimes you're fighting them off because they want to take your lead that bad. But okay. And mm -hmm. I hear that. So is it that then the women in countries, because um, we're going to use Brazil, right? Because Brazil is where everybody on the panel is. Like that's that's a common country, right? That's what I hear you guys saying. Anyway, well, we're gonna. I, I'm sorry, I, I actually it, spent most of my time in uh, Southeast Asia because I lived over there. Okay, but I've been in Brazil before. So we're gonna use Brazil. Is mm -hmm. it that the women in Brazil just aren't as um? Well, what I'm saying, they're weaker than the women here because you guys can't. Uh, 
you, you guys couldn't find a woman here because the woman here intimidates you. So is it that the women in Brazil are just pushovers? That's yeah, why you guys are never absolutely a woman. <laughs> because the, the women not. in Brazil, the women in those countries, they tend to just be yes girls. They tend to be pick me's. So is it that you guys are just intimidated by the woman here? That's why? No. Ro Ro was married to a woman here, and yeah. my girlfriend is also here. And I was mm -hmm. married prior to that to a Canadian right. woman, which is another Western country. My first right. girlfriend was from England. So it's absolutely not what we can't handle. It's what we're willing to deal with and put yeah. up with. Because some brothers have more options than others. And why would you pick your most stressful option? It's just, that's asinine. Right. And also, if, if I could tack on to this, I mean, you said something about strong and they're too strong at home. Well, I mean, I, I think that strength manifests itself in different ways. My grandmother, at her, at her time of her, her death, uh, you know, we we surrounded her, and there was like I mean, I've showed a young day pictures of my family in Houston. We got like three hundred fifty people who came from my great grands and other people like that. That's strength. Strength is to raise a family, and I think that we've gotten away from that in this country. And you know, and, and for people who don't want to be married, that's absolutely fine. But people who who do want to go somewhere and, and and grow old, you know, I'm probably a little further along than you know, you know, some some of you young you young fine gentlemen and, and yourself, Miss Simone. I think that it's just very important to understand where strength manifests itself. And I think that in the West, we have a different and a perverted idea of what strength actually is and what backbone actually is and what it looks like. And then when we go and we are we're actually faced with this at men, it's like, listen, I, why am I going to go through all of that when 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 a, the solution is a passport and a plane right away? I mean, men are men are problem solvers. Exactly. And so, so I'm looking at men on this panel who's found ways, one way or the other, whether foreign or domestic, to solve a problem that they had. And and I also want to say, yes, it, it was that bad when I, you know, I'm almost 50 years old. It was that bad when when I was 18. So it, it is that bad.